morning. God bless you. It's Usas Rogolo. I'm starting the series for the newlywed. Are you just married? Three weeks ago, six months ago, one year ago, two years? That's still new. You're still in your honeymoon. Congratulations to you and to your beloved spouse. So excited for you on this great journey that you have begun. It's an exciting one. It's a beautiful one in the name of Jesus. If you're seeing me for the first time, why not? This is a good opportunity to join in the family. Subscribe where we talk about how our homes can be beautiful. Because I always say that I'm still in my honeymoon after nearly 17 years. Marriage is beautiful. Congratulations to you, couple, in the name of Jesus. I have a word for you this day. Dearly beloved couple who have just come into marriage. I want to advise you today with the word of God. You see, before you got married, maybe you had your experiences, you had your, where you grew up from, from a different background, you went to different schools, you were raised in different families, you were raised in different locations, and even sometimes people are raised in different nations. There are some children, when they wake up in the morning, they do their chores. There are some, they don't do any chores. There are some, just different things in their growing up. And so it's already a part of us. And so trying to change somebody who is used to eating breakfast, for instance, and someone who doesn't eat breakfast, there are a lot of differences. So dearly beloved newlywed, Appreciate your differences. Admire your differences. Don't allow your differences become a challenge. Don't allow your differences to now become something that you fight about. Your differences are a plus for you. Your differences are something that makes you have multiple choices in your home. Appreciate his what he is, in what way he is different from you and appreciate in what way she is different from you. Don't fight about it. Don't argue about it. Especially sometimes also in this social media world where people no longer have value for marriage. Dearly beloved, appreciate your differences. Admire your differences. If, for instance, there's a kind of food you eat, why not? You have become an intercontinental woman. Try his food. And husband, if there's also a food she eats, why not? You have become an intercontinental man. Try her food. You can imagine the kind of two things that you now have in your home. You eat her food, she eats your food. And then your home is become beautiful. The differences that you both have, is something to celebrate about. It's something to, to, to look up to every time. Don't listen to social media. Social media is not real. Admire one another in your home. And dearly beloved new word, if you have something that you grew up with that you need to change, that you need to adjust to, because you are no longer just you alone. You have now become one. Two people become one. And my anchor scriptures today is the two will become one. You have to make him happy. You have to make her happy. And if you have this kind of thing in your mind, whatever he does, uh, if he does anything I don't like, this is how I will respond. No. Don't prepare your mind because of what has happened in the past because of the people you have heard their stories or something that you just, you have prepared your mind. This is how you would attack it. No, dearly beloved new couple, learn to accept one another. Love one another. Celebrate your differences just as you have come together. Don't bring a third party. Settle your differences within yourself. 
Love yourself within yourself. Admire yourself within yourself. Don't think that it is greener on the other side. Especially for those who didn't, who were in a relationship that didn't work. And then you are wishing that that one would have been better. Dearly beloved, I tell you the gospel truth, it is not going to be better. For this one that you are with, celebrate one another. Love one another. Admire one another. And one of the things I have said today, celebrate your differences. Don't throw it in the bin. Celebrate it. It's a plus for you. It's something to be admired. Dearly beloved, new word, congratulations. Mind you, marriage is not your handwork. Marriage is not you who started it. God is the originator of marriage. Make sure that God is with you in that marriage. How can he be with you? And make him your Lord. Make the father your father. How he has sent his son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. Accept the lordship of Jesus Christ today and make him the master of your soul. He will continue to guide you and he will continue to help you with the power of the Holy Ghost, even in that home. When God is in your home, victory, soul, enjoy your home and be blessed. I cover your home with the blood of Jesus. Your home, peace, will come forth from your homes. Love your home and continually be excited about your new home. And your home will always be beautiful. Have a great week and enjoy your home. Love you always.